Hello, hello, and welcome back, everyone. I'm Sacred Sage, and I hope you guys are having a good day. Today, today we're going to be talking about Paths and iClone 8. But before that, as a quick reminder, if this video helps you out in any way, shape, or form, consider subscribing and leaving a like or a comment. I'd really appreciate that. So with that out of the way, let's get into it. All right, so I have my model already loaded up. I have her on a basic walking pose. So when we zoom out and we click on play, you can see the animation playing out as she is just doing a plain old simple walk. She ain't moving, her location ain't doing anything. So now getting into the purpose of this video, paths. What are paths? It is a predetermined area of which this model will take. So we can apply the animation that we have on this character and make her walk the path that we create. Now, there are some pre-made paths in the, oh, there's somewhere around here. I forget, is it set? I always make my own, so I do not know where they are at, but there are some pre-made paths somewhere around in here. Let's go back up here. Anyways, worry about that at another time. I I skirmished through these these areas and I have found where they were located at. I could probably actually type it in. And it'll probably nope, no. Nope. Anyways, there's some pre-made ones, but they are all over the place. They are going in every which direction and here it is right here, paths. So we got the circle, we got this circle with weirdness going on, figure eights, uh, a spring animation, hexagon, and all this, right? Then this is a triangle. So there, here's all the pre-made paths you can do, but we're going to create our own. So what we, you do to create your own path is you go to create path. Pretty simple. It's going to come up. You see like a little cursor here, right? So let's go ahead and click, let's say right here, and it'll put a little marker down there, right? Now we're just going to do like a, a three point, right? So it kind of looks like a hook. So first thing, let's go through. If, if we have this character walk this path, you see this little weird hook thing right here. We can change all that, and I'll show you how we change that. So if we go into our scene, we have our path selected, we can go and edit a point. So we're going to click on this point right here, right? Now, moving the point ain't going to do anything, but you see this red square right here. That is what's going to dictate it. So let's go ahead and click on that red square. You notice the gizmo will move from over here to over here because now it's dictating this line, right? That's going over here. So now watch when we move this line. You can see that the path is starting to straighten out from the point. You can actually go this way to make it kind of weave in the opposite direction. But we're going to keep it just nice and straight. You can do the same over here, but it's not a big deal. I'm not too worried about it. And you can change these in your settings depending on what you are aiming to do. So if I did not want this curve, you could just as easily go here and click on, let's say, this square down here because that's going to dictate this. And we could just move this over and you can see that that hook starts to level out but this hook doesn't bother me so we'll leave it just like this so we got that first hook out the character is still not going to walk on the path as you can tell she is still very motion she's just staying put so let's go ahead and click our model we're going to go ahead and if you go into modify and you start scrolling down you'll see a section that's called paths so we are going to select this little eye drop and we're going to click on the beginning of our path which is this point right here you notice that the character moves if you hit play she still doesn't move but that's okay we're about to fix that right now let's go to let's say i don't know roughly like frame uh 650 650 sounds good to me and then if you right here at the path position it's at zero percent we're just going to jack that all the way up to 100 percent and that's it now we go back to the very beginning and we hit play oopsie probably help if we were actually on here so let's go ahead and 
delete this point here go back to frame zero click the path always remember to be on frame zero now the character will walk down the path but you also notice she's not really facing the path right she's just facing forward well we can change that as well so let's go ahead and click on follow path and for the majority of all following paths it's going to be on the y-axis so i i believe it's negative y-axis that's like 95 percent of the follow paths that i do is always on negative y-axis so now we hit play and you will notice that the character is actually at least facing the path direction that is taking her Woo! there we go easy peasy now there are some other things that you can do with the paths you can actually create a second path and combine them now i haven't really used this all too much because at this particular point right now you could just bake this path into right here release and bake the, release and bake current transformation so you could just go ahead and just bake that and then create another path and then that character can follow that path right so that is the general consensus of what I normally do but you can combine paths so let's go ahead have nothing selected and you can do create path and we're just going to click here here and here that's okay uh, actually I'm gonna move it a little bit to where it's closer to the other point so let's go ahead and bring it roughly right around there and that'll work so what you do to merge a path is we'll have our first path path right here selected and we'll go to pick path to merge so we click on that and we click on path zero basically is what it's called and it makes a merged path now you can't delete these you can't hide them but you cannot delete them because they are still connected so if you delete this it's going to mess this whole merged path up as well so you still have to keep it and you can see there's still some funny business going on with the loop but you can still mess edit point click on the point and you can you can mess with these squares and kind of fix that right so we can kind of we can kind of flatten it out turn it rotate it whatever this is a translate but you can also uh, take the other point boop, and you can mess with this one as well and you can get that little loop out of there just by messing with those squares like I said I normally just stick with one path bake it and then make another path but anyways that's it for this video i hope you guys found it helpful if you did show some love hit that like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video until then take care bye bye